second race in the Women's World Cup for bobsled in Lake Placid, New York on an arctically cold day. Drama is always just around the corner on this track as Misha McNeil proved aiming for a career best top six finish, crashing out of corner two. The sled righted itself 10 turns later. The girls were credited with a finish. They were okay. Brittany Reinbold and Lauren Gibbs of the USA lying in fifth position after the first heat. Top five all North American sleds. Little untidy first run for Reinbold, but she cleaned her act up in the second, flying down the ever faster Lake Placid track to take a comfortable lead with four sleds remaining. Lesia Rissling and Genevieve Thibault had a great first run, Rissling in her first season as a World Cup pilot. But the Canadians, despite their geographical proximity, aren't all that familiar with Lake Placid. And it showed she couldn't stay in front. Brittany Reinbolt and Lauren Gibbs led with three to go. The three remaining sleds were all driven by women who had won in the last three seasons. Three seasons ago, Kaylee Humphreys took the last of her three wins. She went in front of Brittany Reinbolt, but a gold medal looked unlikely. Alana Myers, Taylor and Lolo Jones making the first World Cup start of the season were in second place just 14 hundreds out of the gold medal after one heat. They took the lead in the second run with just their teammates left to come. A brand new track record in the first run for Jamie Grubel Poser and her Olympic bronze medal partner Asia Evans. The dream team back together. Grubel Poser won this race in January and she won again in December. Two home wins in Lake Placid in the same calendar year. Double success for the USA. Jamie Grubel Poser winning. Alana Myers Taylor taking second. Kaylee Humphreys over a second back in the bronze medal position. And it's Grubel Poser and Humphreys who are tied for the World Cup lead.